cool, 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 cool. So what should we start? So I, I am afraid, like first, of course, I want to continue what I've already started, like 15, 17, 21. But I'm afraid this might be a hard task. But on the other hand, like why? I want to see the full picture here, right? And this is the closest we get. But on the other hand, uh, you all kind of see the full picture here already. And this is also something cool, but I don't understand it. But yeah. <coughs> this has intrigue, right? So let's 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 go with it. Uh, chocolate charts. You finally have a chance to look at all. Are the produce moving around? Maybe no. No. Stop. What do you want? Please, camera, have to focus on me. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, okay, so uh, doesn't seem, doesn't look too hard. Okay, uh, I understand the algorithm, I think. So you sum these two numbers, you take digits apart and put them back in, right? So, and then choose a new recipe. So like, uh, there's 10, um, they stay on three and seven, then they choose one chooses zero, one chooses one. Um, but I don't understand the, like what's the end condition. Okay, so else things they skill. Your puzzle input. Wait, what? Elves think the skill will improve after making a few reads for your puzzle input. However, that could take ages. You can speed this up considerably by defining the scores of the 10 recipes after that. After what? If they all think the skill will improve after making 9 recipe. Okay, so my input is how many recipes we want. after nine recipes so the scores of the 10 recipes after the first nine 
the scores of the 10 recipes after the first nine on the scoreboard would be blah 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 okay so we like we need to run 10 iterations and take After five recipes, the scores of ne ne next ten will be one, two. F we always take ten recipes, right? So, okay, so this is like one, two, three, four, five. This is not five. And this is not five. Like after five recipes, the scores of the next 10 would be one, two, four. What? 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 One, zero, one, two, four, five, nine, one. So like this after 18 recipes. I don't understand it. Oh, okay. So we like if we need after five recipes, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, right? So we need ten recipes after the number. Mm hmm. Okay. 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 I think I get it. Okay. I think I get it. So we're bounded by the length of this uh, abomination. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Let's start. Uh, let's let's think. Let's let's create a folder for this. Right? It's year twenty eighteen. Okay, and this is day day what day fourteen. Okay, so it's oh, I created the wrong year twenty eighteen. New file. Okay, everybody has new file by it's day 14 CLJ. We don't probably need input that much. There's no input really. Uh, there's nothing like that as well. Day 14. Okay, and probably I. Mess this up. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, the namespace is wrong as well. Okay, now we're good, I think. Now we're good. Okay, so we start with 3 and 7. They always start with 3 and 7, right? And um, basically, what they have is. Her input so what we can do is we can make an array right so we, we know the size okay so we know we have input right so let input well okay no input is input is this okay Input. So what we need is for this array to become a more than uh, this number plus 10 and plus maybe 2 because uh, because of extra recipes right? we are calculating. So Let's say we want, if I allocate a array list, no, no, yeah. Okay, so let's say we want, let's create vector, right? Why not? Oh. Yeah, let's start with vector. Okay, um, 
data in which we start we probably need we probably need a loop here right so let's start with data elf one is it position zero elf two is it position one right and input okay okay first we need to write um, an iteration right but uh, actually first thing we need to start count data if count data is bigger than plus input 10 or equals we are done and what we want to do is um i think we want subvec there is such a thing right we start and data um so say we have five so if you want to skip one we yeah yeah it, it seems like input plus input 10 and join like this right okay and let's say our input is nine we, we are just testing right so we do this let's test it um okay that's the first part okay now what we want to do is to run to write the loop right the first one is well actually this is just a simple if and let sum plus uh data elf one data elf two so we get we get positions sum now we need to split it into like we can get one or two results depending on that and it's if sum is bigger then then otherwise we just conge data sum right so this is our new data and now we need to identify uh, position of the first elf which will be um, like which will be elf one right plus its position and all of that modulo count data prime and f2 the same but for f2 right okay and we are ready to record we use data prime f1 prime f2 prime this is a new values okay and this should do the trick actually let's see yeah long cannot be casted okay this is interesting where did it happen um, into on line 16 right here so oh yeah yeah, uh, yeah because we need to do that well actually you know what let's just Uh, 
let's just do that and okay <laughs> zero 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 uh what i want to do uh, as well is print data of one of two and data on each iteration we are going to to print this and let's see our our debug input okay so something is wrong so this is our updated input and new positions are three and zero is it correct then actually not correct wait what how it should be zero one two three why is there like two tens in here i don't understand it okay let's see let's see uh, again Okay, two new recipes will be created. The current recipe score is two, 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 two. Okay, the new recipes are, are added to the end of the scoreboard in the order they are created. So after the first round, the scoreboard is three, seven, one, two, right? Right, correct. Hi, Mig. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, solving older but harder problems for the advent of code from 2018 actually okay uh i'll fix new doses self steps forward so after new recipes are added so this added elf picks a new current recipe to do this elf steps forward through the scoreboard and the number of recipes equals to one plus the score oh we forgot to add one okay okay that makes sense um uh, we forgot to add one in here okay maybe this will save us 515 blah 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 does it look correct 779 yeah it looks correct okay uh, after five recipes so let's say let's actually do this right This is the default, and um, we also take input. And this, and uh, five, nine. Okay, so, okay, control B, uh, one looks correct right so now let's try 18 and 2018 okay now we are struggling right and our input is much harder yeah so we spent five is it Pascal triangle? No, uh, one sec. Uh, so, no, this is task. Uh, so what what it does is like you sum not two numbers, append the digits to the end. So your your scoreboard like grows in this recursive pattern, and then you have positions of two elves. They start at zero, position zero and position one. And they calculate the new position, like by advancing through the scoreboard, um, and kind of the task is to grow it to a certain number, and then take the last ten digits. Kind of. And this is said that we need that much time to calculate. I actually don't oh because we're printing probably because we're printing yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> that probably explains it yeah now it's instant okay cool let's see and we got the number let me this is not very convenient but yay we solved it but yeah, because there is no reason this would be slow. There's like no 
slow operations over here. We, we built quite a lot of uh, quite a large vector, which is like has 200,000 elements, but it's not like shouldn't be hard for computers. And everything else is like index access. So it's super, super fast. And arithmetics, which is also super fast. Okay, part two. As it turns out, you've got elves planned backwards. I actually want to know how many recipes appear on the scoreboard to the left of the first recipes whose scores are the digits from your puzzle input. What? Okay, so this is like input it first appears i actually want to know how many recipes appear on the scoreboard to the left of the first recipes whose scores are the digits from your puzzle input what the fuck oh my god um <sighs> so five one Five, eight, nine. Okay, so we, basically now we want to find the substring, and this is our input, for example, right? Uh, we're looking for this sequence of numbers, and we we. Runs two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it appears after nine. Okay, this doesn't look that bad actually. This looks bad. <laughs> um, it doesn't look that bad because we can, we don't need to look through the full sequence. We can only look through the final few digits, right? Mm -hmm. We can even probably optimize it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, uh, so we have this working, so there's no reason to get rid of it. So we have part two with like this, um, this. Actually, you know what? It should be string. I just decided it would be string. And part two, right? So this is what we're going to do because it can start with zero, so it can't be really a number. Uh, this is going to be string. Um, we still start. We still last. Is zero. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let me let me see. So what we want to do is well, first we want to parse input, right? So like, let me. map parse long input okay so this is our input so we now uh digits let's call it digits now we have them as numbers hopefully um yeah and what we need to do like exit condition changes right And this condition changes. Okay, so so we need to change this. Okay, so last checked in our case is zero. Let's try it at zero. No, zero is bad. We haven't tried zero. Last checked is minus one. Okay, so. What we want to do is, um, so like if we have something to check first, right? 
we check it. So if uh, I can use zero and so basically what we want to say from if we have enough from last check to end of the sequence if this is bigger or equals the count data minus last if this is bigger than now if we have this sub vec right data last and plus last let's call it len actually I, otherwise we are going to, it looks like we are going to need it start end okay so if this sub vec equals digits right last last plus len we just return the what do we return we return in class so if we start from zero to five for example how many from the left zero right no we just return last okay so just return last then uh, if it's not equal there's still a condition right if we can check more so basically what or oh, can actually no 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 we just uh, in in condition record data like else stay in the position we just in increment last which means like we want to check from next position hopefully when we have enough right and if you cannot check we go here okay what is wrong what do you mean what Okay, now something is a foot here. Why isn't was wrong? Something is wrong. Why are you trying to resolve input? Does it mean like what the fuck? an argument or function right no I don't understand it oh yeah because I forgot those okay uh, record data of uh, last yeah let's see let's see if it yields Make a string, got a character, okay. Fair enough. Nine. Okay, so is it correct now? For yes, this is five, this is eighteen, and this is two thousand eighteen. It seems like the answer is correct. Okay, and we got our number. 202, 202, 685, 685, 76. Boom! We solved it! Yay! Uh, how long is string? About an hour, right? Okay, I return to your advent calendar. Okay, we solved it. Well, let's, let's make a script actually here like 
this the run year slash And works. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Let's commit. Um, year 2018, day 14. 